and what's up everybody my name is Tim Keys for those of you who are new to the channel I do videos regarding sound design plugins DAWs and all sorts of various products that help beat makers and producers to make music basically today I want to talk about macro multi model synthesizer this is for reason users only so if you're not a reason user unfortunately this one is not for you. If you are a Reason user and you have, I think, at least version 10, then this is free and I would highly recommend checking it out. Because under the hood, it has roughly 16 different tone generating engines. So as you can see here, everything from virtual analog to wave shaping to FM, to speech, to granular, to bass drums. There's a lot you can do with this synthesizer and it's all laid out in a very relatively simple GUI, which you know will make it fairly easy for you to make the sounds that you wanna make. So what I'll do is I'll go over a couple of these patches and then I'll talk about who this is for and then you know, maybe who it's not for. So this is a patch that I'm messing with. Yeah, this is a patch that I'm messing with. Nothing spectacular. Using the granular engine. We'll start with the analog bass. And you know, basically what you have is three generators. And for the most part, depending on what you pick in terms of your engine, you know, it's going to dictate what gets adjusted. So right now in, in the virtual analog space, as I adjust generator A, it's going to impact the detail. Generator B, adjust the width. And generator C, adjust the shape. And then I have the hard sync mix right there. I have my velocity, which just means if I turn that one all the way up, it's going to make it um, harder to hit. I'm going to have to hit my keyboard harder to get sound out. Turn that down. Generator B. Generator C. So that's that. Now, when you get to this side over here, you have your. This is set up right now to modulate the filter gate. And then this is impact the transient right so you have a pluck sound or whatnot now when you change it to this side the right now you're dealing with more of your your amplitude envelope and And you get the attack and you get the release. No decay, no sustain, at least as far as what I can see. That's okay. And then here you can adjust the envelopes for generator A, B, or C. Then you have your pitch bin and your mod wheel and it specifically impacts generator a and that's okay you can spread it to the left or right keep it in the middle over here you can have up to 
16, the voice is a polyphony. Or you can set it down to be mono and have retrig or legato. All right, I'm done with that one. So you get the drift. You also got your, your fine tunings, your octave, your semitones, and your really So that's all available too. Go to classic kick. And this is the analog kick drum. There we go. Turning that down. Hello, bass sound. Any of you guys who struggle with making your kick drums, your 808s, might be a good place to start for you. That's that. That'll work. A, B, C, D. So this is the wavetable engine. No, it's not serum but it doesn't need to be. So that's gonna adjust the sound. We're gonna turn down the low five. So yeah. Yep, there's that. Let's do another one. Do Rusty Gate. I don't think the presets are bad, and again, it all depends on what your needs are. So, you know, if you're a EDM house or I would say ADM, you know, producer, you know, these presets will get you started. <clears throat> but there's so much going on under the hood that you can make a lot out of these patches or with this device. Let's see, let's do one more emergency. I don't like that one. Sounds like an organ, but they're using a harmonic engine. So that's your additive engine. Raw bar harmonics. So turning generator A all the way over to the right, this knob right here, and then modulating this mod wheel is going to impact the harmonics. All right, 
So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do any in-depth beat making. What I will say is this this device, in my opinion, is nice because it gives it's free, first and foremost. But it gives the user a wide template of sounds that they can begin to utilize. FM, granular, harmonic wavetable. It, it's, it's not all there, but there's a lot going on. And you can get a lot of mileage out of this, and it's free. <clears throat> what I also like about it is, you know, everything is pretty straightforward. So no just the plugins like Serum, Massive, and, you know, the big wigs, because they're, those are great too. But I know for certain users, depending on who you are, sometimes so many options can get a person overwhelmed with sound design to the point where it's like man i don't know where to start i don't know what to try because it's just so much going on and so this kind of puts everything in a straightforward more condensed interface twist a couple knobs here and there turn this turn that and then you can kind of figure out what you're doing and what to do what to make the sound that you're looking for and you know, all of a sudden, you know, you've got something going that you could use in you know, your production. The caveat to that is if you are someone who likes to have everything out in front of you, like in Massive or a Serum, where you just have so many options, you know, so many filters and different LFOs and things of that nature, <clears throat> This it by itself will not give you that. So if you're someone that likes to tweak on that level, this may not be appealing to you. You know, you only get one filter option. In my opinion, I think it's all you need. Mind you, that you can take these and put in the combinator and run these through all sorts of effects. You can take this and route it through Thor. You can route it through other VSTs that allow for routing through effects you can take these and stack multiple engines on top of each other in the combinator and chain them to your own effects to your heart's desire so you know that the lack of options immediately can be circumvented through the use of reasons combinator i recommend this device i think anybody that needs sounds and is curious about sound design and wants to get into that space that is a reason user i highly recommend checking this out i almost i won't say almost i do wish that it's a bummer it's a bummer that this isn't available for non-reason users but yay for reason users because this is a free one you get to check it out that's all I got today. I'm Tim Keys. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to my new subscribers. Take care. Peace.